Hey, this is Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today I wanted to tell you a little bit about what round tripping is. And I hear a lot of dentists throwing this word out, but I'm not sure if you really understand what it is and if it's good, if it's bad, should you do it, should you not do it. So for example, when you have crooked teeth on the lower arch, like here or like here, okay, whether you're doing braces or you're doing aligners, there's different ways that you can fix crowding, right? And if you go back a few videos that I posted, I posted one that was more consumer facing um, about how correcting crowding works, right? We go over the options. You can expand the arches. You can procline the front teeth. You can add IPR. You can extract a tooth or teeth. So those are some of our options. Um, so let's say, for example, we wanted to do IPR. Well, most doctors find it easier to do IPR when the teeth are straight than when the teeth are crooked. This would be really tricky to do IPR right here or even right here, but it might be okay to do it here, right? So that's one of the options you have when you do Invisalign or sometimes other aligner companies is you can give them feedback. I wanna do it early in treatment. I wanna do it later in treatment. That's a personal preference that you'll need to let the treatment plan advisors know. You can build that into your personal preferences at least in Invisalign, not in all, but I digress. Now, it's not always the best thing to round trip. So round trip means we straighten the teeth first, we add IPR, and then we retract the spaces. Why? So for example, let's say we tried to do that here, okay? You can already see that this tooth is pretty much out of the bone, okay? There's nearly no labial bone here. You can see it's blanching here, here, here. So if we tried to straighten these, add IPR and bring it back, we'll likely cause some damage that's irreversible to those teeth. Sure, we get the bite nice, but at what cost? To the, to the healthy teeth, right? So my suggestion is actually not to round trip. Sometimes you can. You're gonna have to either take a CBCT or even sometimes at a CEF, you can look at the labial bone to see if there's bone labial to the incisors to see if you could round trip safely. But often I just do it just by eyeballing the photos. So I look for blanching, I look for um, root scalloping and things like that. And that tells me that I don't want to round trip because the teeth might be permanently mobile. We might have perio issues. We might have um, devitalization sensitivity issues that might be irreversible. It's just not something that I would prefer to do. Now, remember your treatment planners at Invisalign, Six Month Smiles, um, you know, all these companies, they don't know, nor do they care. So, well, maybe they care, but they really don't. So if you tell them to do the IPR later and straighten the teeth, they're going to do that. They don't know if there's bone. They don't know if there's not bone. They don't know if there's going to be complications. That's your job as the dentist, okay? You tell them what you want them to do and they do it. They are not making the clinical decisions. You are. And this is where I see a lot of dentists getting into trouble with their case selection and treatment planning. You can't just do what the treatment planner is saying. You have to put your dentist cap on and be like, is this healthy for my patient? They don't know. You have to find out, okay? So that's what I'm trying to explain to you. So there are some good systems, um, and you should definitely go into some of my IPR videos. If you go to letter G, letter P, like GP, webinar.com, gpwebinar.com, I have all my archive webinars. It's free. You can just go in there. Um, and I went on IPR. So there are some IPR systems that could be pre-curved where you can do IPR where it's crowded. It's really not that hard. Um, so I recommend just getting it done, even if it's trickier. If it's a lot, you can stage it over multiple appointments. So let's say you're on the five-week appointment frequency. Okay, do some IPR at a liner one, do some IPR at a liner five. So you can make the IPR match your frequency. Now, not all aligner systems you can do that with, so you need to find out if you can. Some of them you have to do it all at the beginning, okay? Remember, IPR can be done anytime before it's due. It's like a library book. So if you got IPR stage at eight and 15, doesn't mean you have to do it at appointment eight and 15. You need to do those before appointment eight, the ones that are due on eight, and the ones that are due on 15 before 15. You just have to keep organized, keep notes, and make sure that you see your patient on the right frequency. So hopefully this was helpful. And hopefully you learned something about round tripping and why I'm not a fan of round tripping. All right. And anyways, it makes your treatment take longer too, because you're moving it all the way one way and then you're moving it back besides all the other symptoms. All right. Thank you.